Hey there guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to be showing you something a bit more complex that uses two automations. One of them is going to be scraping Instagram usernames and the other one is going to be sending those same users uh, some a message, okay? So I am going to start with scraping our competitors' users. So let's go ahead and start this automation and wait for the countdown to finish. Let's enter Instagram. Username. We log in like we usually would in any browser and we click on these pop-ups. I'll show you in a bit how we can go ahead and fix those pop-ups. I'm gonna allow this, that doesn't interfere as much. And I'm going to enter my competitor's uh, URL. Okay, in this case I'm gonna scrape myself, but you could use a competitor. And I'm going to click on the followers I have, and I'm going to scrape lists. Okay, I am going to scrape list the username, which are these two right here. We scrape text because I want the actual username, and I also wanna scrape their profile link. Why not? I might do something afterwards with it. Let's go ahead and save that. And I'm also gonna save their name, just because, all right? So I already have those information, that's all the information I need, I can stop the automation. And as you can see here, we are going to send it to our Google page. If you do not have your Google account connected, you have to share it with this email, which is automations at taskmagic.com and put the link in here. But I have my Google account connected, so I'm gonna go ahead and select the sheet, which is this sheet over here. And I am going to see if the headers are okay. And everything looks good, everything looks fine over here. Let me just go ahead and show you this Google page. It has to be like this. And we connect it. Okay, so the next step would be actually to allow these pop-ups, we should allow errors on them. Just because they sometimes don't show up, they sometimes do. So let's go ahead and allow errors in case they do show up. Uh, I like to do it on the vast majority just in case, you know? And right before we click on the followers we have, we need to put our URL over here, okay? So I'm gonna paste the URL of my competitor right before I click on the followers. And here is how we can see that we scraped many usernames, many user profile links, and the name. So. There's nothing much to it. I'll go ahead and press play and you'll see in a bit how everything starts scraping on this Google Sheet. And as you could see here, in the left it says run successful. And we see the users and the usernames here. Okay, so that will be all for scraping our usernames. It's as simple as that. And after we have those usernames, we can go ahead and do the following. We go back to our automations and we click on message IG users, okay? So now that we have this sheet over here, we have the usernames, we're gonna import them as a variable and we're gonna loop through all of these usernames and send them a message, all right? So I am going to start this automation right here. Let's wait for the countdown. And let's go to Instagram once again. I am going to log in. And here I do the same thing. I just allow all of the pop-ups. Sometimes they show up, sometimes they don't. So we just wanna be sure. And here, what I like to do in case if I wanna click a URL like the last time and I don't, I don't know where it, it's located, I put like a small placeholder. So sometimes this doesn't work, this button. Uh, so I prefer to use the direct inbox URL. So I'll show how we can replace it in a bit in order for it to be 100% secure. And I am going to click the new message button, okay? I'm gonna search for a user. In this case, it's any user because we're gonna um, put a variable in a minute. So I'm gonna put my own name and I click on the button outside here because this one is the unique button. This one is the shared one amongst all of the users. And as you can see, the 
the checkbox clicks for a second and we can start to chat with our user okay as you can see i did some messages before so let's go ahead and put hey i am going to send it and that is actually all we need in order to send a message to all of those users that we scraped okay so let's continue to edit these steps i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to going to allow errors on these steps just in case you know sometimes they show up sometimes they don't so let's go ahead and do that real quick And this is the button that I was talking about. So this is the code of the messenger icon. And I'm going to put my URL of the direct inbox, which is this one. Okay. I'm going to save it. I can erase this one over here. That one doesn't matter anymore. And this button is the search button. Okay. This is the search text. Uh, I can erase these because I messed up. I had a typo and that these don't matter at the moment. This one is the one that's going to be a variable. Okay. So we go ahead and set up a trigger and we're going to loop through data. We're going to select the Google sheet that we had before, which was, if it loads in a sec, there you go. It's going to be how to source your DM competitors. This is the one I named it, which is this information over here. So as you can see, the column A has usernames, links, name, and links name. So that looks all good. And I'm going to, I'm going to start at row two because row one is the username the headers and this is where the information is at i'm going to loop just to three simple messages okay i'm going to continue i don't want to schedule a run and i am going to double check all of the information all right so here instead of using my own name we are going to be using a username variable okay we're going to save it let's say you also want to edit the message for it to be something way more personal so let's say hello name how are you doing i just hit the save button and that would be the message that would be shown and everything looks good everything looks fine but let's go ahead and double check where are we going to start in this loop so we're going to start at step nine which is the, the start new message button and here we are going to drag it from step nine all the way to step 15, which is the send button. Okay, so it's going to loop as many times as we told it. In this case, I said three times. So let's go ahead and see it work its magic, okay? So right now it is going to put the URL And now it's going to start searching for all of the users in our Google Sheet. And it is going to be sending the message with their name because we chose that as well in the variable. And that is actually all for this tutorial. It is as simple as that. Thank you so much for watching it. And if you guys have any other questions or any other requests, I invite you guys to open the roadmap and go on the how-to guides. You could go ahead and ask for which guides you would like to see the most. We are working on some web hooks. Uh, we are working on some other tutorials like um, scraping multiple pages and using them as variables. Uh, but let us know what else you guys would like to see, okay? Thank you so much for watching and have a great night.